I wanted to do a quick um, talk about some about uh, Christianity. Um, a lot of people on the earth are not sure about even the issue of is God real? Does God exist? Is he real? Um, and then if you've got past that and you think, yes, God must be real, there must be a God, then it's, well, what is God actually like? Who is God? What is he? Um, and this is where we have all these different opinions and religions. Okay, and um, um, a study of different religions. I've done a study on all sorts of religions over the years, and we we have um, um, that God is a being, one one God. Um, that's there's three religions that believe that. Uh, they're the Jewish ones, the Christians, and the Muslim. So um, there's just differing opinion between uh, Christians believe. Well, I'm a Christian. We believe um, that God is one being, but He is three parts. He's just like man is a spirit, a body, and a soul, and we're made in the image of God. That God is a spirit, a body, and a soul, and that He's revealed Himself is three, three things as well. And so, that's um, but He is one being, and we get we uh, have the same book as the Jewish people, the Old Testament, but we also have twenty-seven books, New Testament. Um, six hundred years after the New Testament was written. Uh, along came um, a guy, Muhammad, and he had been preached to by Jews and Christians. And at the time, Mecca, um, they had the big rock at Mecca, um, they had about 360 gods they were worshipping, the Arabs were worshipping at the time. Um, there was lots of different gods. One of them um, was the worship of the moon, and that the moon god worship uh, that they used to worship was his name was Allah or Allah. Um, so Moses, uh, oh, sorry, Muhammad um, had been preached to by the Christians and the Jews, and actually um, believed yes, there is only one God, but he had three hundred and sixty to choose from. So he picked the obviously the moon one got rid of all the others and from then on he says no there is only one and we're going to call him Allah but you've got to understand this that Allah guy was the moon god okay that's where it's come from so you have a full moon and a crescent moon and they have the symbols still on the top of their mosques um, uh, the one at Jerusalem has the full circle where you can look through it and look Directly, it points towards Mecca. Um, all the rest are just crescent ones around the rest of the world on the top of their mosque, uh, which are like partial moons. But it's, hey, let's call it a spade a spade. It's moon god worship, okay? So anyway, he believes in um, these three religions. The rest are all um, lots and lots of gods. We have... Um, uh, if you if you read uh, study the Indo Hinduism, they have lots and lots of gods, and basically, uh, one main god who incarnates himself as an avatar as several different types of gods and uh, reincarnation and all this crazy, crazy stuff. Um, and it says that god dies and. Things like that. So that his their god doesn't even their god uh, actually dies a lot, um, as in has a lifespan. He's not even all powerful, all mighty, or anything. So yeah, after a study of that one, uh, it was very clear that that's messed up. Okay, <laughs> messed up religion. <laughs> Don't go there. Buddhism. It's just a Basically a flick off of Hinduism, 
with a few other things thrown in just for kicks. Uh, again, uh, why people get sucked in. But this is what the devil's job is to bring up lots and lots of religions, try and confuse people, not really know the truth. I wanted to share um, my belief, Christianity, because I wasn't always a Christian. I became one. I became one. Um, actually, God got my attention uh, that he was real. He got my attention in a big way. And um, I prayed and he answered my prayers in quite a dramatic fashion. And so I was pretty much convinced, okay, God is there and he's even listening when I pray. So that was my experiences. And over the years I've had more and more experiences with um, God. Now this is the God of the Bible I'm talking about. Okay, I'm not talking about some random God. Um, but I've had more and more experiences and some of them have been very, very dramatic. Um, and my, as a human, as a person wondering about truth, what is true, what is not true, I, um, I have the same struggles as everyone else. Wonder if the Bible's true, wonder if, uh, the Quran's true, wonder if the, um, San Vitas are true, you know? W which religion is on track, which one's wrong, blah, 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 which one's up the creek. So I had the same debates and everything. There's even um, cult groups. So like if you look, study Christianity, there's even um, splinters of Christianity. You've got the Jehovah Witnesses who say, no, Jesus is the son of God, but he's not really a god. He's actually Michael the Archangel. Um, or, <laughs> or lots of other little lots of little things like that happening. So he, and then you get the seven-day Adventists, and then you get the, Oh, and you start thinking, oh my goodness, what is this about? This is crazy. But in a nutshell, Christianity, although there's lots of denominations, of, I'm a Baptist, I'm a, a Presbyterian, I'm a Catholic, I'm a Protestant, means nothing. They're all theology issues, like little theology issues, or, uh, sorry, uh, doctrinal issues, not theology issues, doctrinal issues, like... Um, is sprinkling water on the head good enough instead of being baptized or full mushroom under the water? They're all like doctrinal issues, okay? The debating over really uh, over stuff like that, they all believe the same thing. In reality, on the main stuff, the important stuff, but on the small stuff, they fight. Now that's fine, and I think there's nothing wrong with that. I think you should debate the small stuff. Um, but people get all up in arms and then they say, we're at this denomination and we believe this. Okay, We're all, if you believe the Bible in its actual entirety, you have to believe that when someone is born again and receives Jesus Christ into his life and has the Holy Spirit living in him and is a temple of God, it says you are adopted into his family and you're now a child of God. You're adopted, you're a family member. That means you're fighting with your brothers and sisters. <laughs> and that's normal, isn't it? Fighting with your brothers and sisters. So fighting over doctrines are completely stupid, really. But it is only kitty, it's only kids in the family squabbling. That's the truth. That's the real reality of um, the different uh, denominations. Family squabbles. That's all it is. Now... You're still the family, that's the whole point. The whole point is, it's still all true, but you're in the family. And that's the important part. You've got to get in the family. You've got to be adopted into the family first. Who cares if you fight about other small stuff? Who cares? Um, if you're not in the family and you believe some other religion, then you're actually cut right out of the whole thing, and then you are, you're not saved, are you? You're not going to be looking forward to heaven and all those things. And so that, that's, for me far more critical and more important than the small little issues that Catholics and Protestants and Presbyterians and Baptists uh, argue about. It's nothing to do with salvation, so it's stupid. Fight as much as you want, but let's get a grip on it. Let's like put it in place, what it really is. This isn't the most important thing to argue about. 
Um, but when you get a cult like uh, Jehovah Witnesses who start saying, nah, we don't believe Jesus is God, we believe he's, a, he's an angel, he's a created being, then you have a completely different problem. Because now you're taking the Bible and you change, they had to change hundreds of verses. And unfortunately they got a medium, a spiritualist, to actually do the translation for them. Now, a spiritualist, the Bible talks about that spiritualists and uh, psychics and uh, wizards and all that stuff is an abomination. And they should be put to death in the Old Testament. They were put to death. New Testament, we're not, you don't go around doing that anymore. But god's no nah, that's not god so these jehovah witnesses get a, a spiritualist a flipping psychic uh sorry uh, a medium to interpret their bible for them and take out 200 plus scriptures that uh, shouldn't be there now the ones they took out were the ones about that point and indicate jesus being um uh, the Son of God and being God. So they took out all those ones and then they start this religion saying, yeah, Jesus is the Saviour, but he's not God. Okay, so they try and do that. Um, and again, the problem with that is, not only is it a lie and it's not true, what the people are believing, but they're not actually getting brought into the family again. Because it's actually putting them outside the family because God wants his family to be in his family you have to be adopted into the family and the way he's adopting is through Jesus who is his family by us being in Jesus who is his son we are now adopted into his family we're in his, in Jesus so we are in his family if Jesus is in his family his offspring then we are not in his family okay so you have a real problem the other problem is worship it says in the bible don't worship anyone apart from god that's we're only allowed to worship god now um worshiping jesus then would be sin would be evil and wrong you should never worship a created being so the jehovah witnesses by saying he is a created being means he shouldn't be worshipped but if he is god this is the problem if he is god you're supposed to worship him so they're taking away his worship now satan is the one who wants to be worshipped in this world and wants to take away the worship from God. So this is the problem. Uh, Jehovah Witnesses are taking away true worship from God. And we that is a serious issue. Not only are they not being saved and brought into the family. But they are also taking away true worship to the true God. And again, big problems. Denominations, not really a problem. Cults, a real problem. Okay. But anyway, that's Christianity. Easy <laughs> in a nutshell. It's got a few problems, but the thing is, it's actually still true. Um, and it's uh, it's funny how um, um, I, I I think I look at the twelve tribes of Israel, um, and Israel is one nation, but it has twelve tribes. And I look at denominations the same way. There is one one belief, one Christianity lots of tribes <laughs> pick your tribe basically pick your tribe but you are still a christian you're still a christian you just pick your tribe doesn't matter when there's a war against another bad thing you're a, you're still a tribe member you all go to fight together so that's how it works you're still one one tribe 